Hey guys, so I'll give you a quick rundown of the latest version of Mac Miner. And the good news is I finally got it working on my Intel AMD MacBook Pro running right now, doing pretty well. I'll give you a little secret, it's actually running faster on the AMD one than it does on the M1. But don't worry, we have also improved the efficiency of the M1, but I'll get into that later. But first, let me show you how it's running on the AMD MacBook Pro. So if you see it right there, we're getting 1.88 mega hashes. And the good news is that is on the power mode of very low which means the fans run at less than 4,000, very, very quiet. And if you don't use your computer, it, it does go silent. However, if we put it all the way up to high mode, you see the mega hashes, it jumps, just give it a second to recalibrate. And we are gonna be mining at 11.77 mega hashes. That is also limited. So I can mine faster, I can go over 12. However, I've artificially limited the maximum. And in case you're wondering, this is my MacBook Pro. We are using the i9, well, it's not really using the CPU, but it's the i9, 32 gigabytes RAM, not really using that. And we're using the Radeon Pro 550M to bomb it. And as you can see the GPU, we're using around 93%. So yeah, currently it's mining at almost 12 mega hashes a second. Now that is really good news, I'll tell you why, because on Windows in nice hash, the highest I could get on this MacBook Pro was actually 10 mega hashes a second. What does that say? It says 10.6. So we have officially the world's fastest miner over here. I need to start pointing it over to Windows and see how fast I can get it to run maybe. Other interesting features is you can actually also mine with the Intel graphics card and the AMD graphics card at the same time with the Intel one. That one gets around two, just over two mega hashes a second. So this machine, 12 plus two, 14, you can even mine on a CPU at the same time. You can probably get a good hash rate with this beast. And uh, that's good news. I haven't even finished optimizing this. I've just started with AMD. The trick was mainly just allocating your memory blocks in the right areas of RAM, and that gets it to speed up, go really fast. If you allocate in the wrong areas of RAM, the Intel graphics card runs faster than the AMD one. Over to the M1, I'll show you how that one's running. So on the M1 over here, I'm currently mining on very low and we're getting 1.85 mega hashes a second. And this is on my dual screen display. I've got loads of apps running in the background, everything's playing, but the idea is very low, is that I want it to not affect the power usage so you can continue using your Mac as good as possible. Now improvements from previous, if we look at version one on high mode, we're, getting, we're using 11 watts to mine 9.4. Now version 0.3, the one we just released, we're using in this test over here, we're using 11 watts and we're mining at 9.8. So we've got a 0.4 mega hash increase in our mining speed. That is like almost a 5% improvement. Now, again, there's still lots of optimizations to be done. I'm gonna look at some interesting ones. I need to go into the intrinsics and all that stuff. So hopefully we can get this guy to mine faster. Like I said, just like on the Intel and AMD version, if I also mine on the CPU as well as the GPU, probably increase the hash rate. I don't know if I want to be doing that. Right now, I uh, kind of probably don't want to do that. I'm considering putting in an extreme mode just for performance tests, just to see how fast it can go. Because if I do mine it on high, I do get up to 10 mega hashes a second. However, if I get rid of all of my artificial restrictions, it goes faster than that. You get another 5% bump at least. I was mining at over 10.5 before. So uh, hopefully I'll do a bit more optimization. That's probably what's missing over here. but Version 0.3, again, it's a 0 point version, so maybe bugs and all that kind of stuff expected to be used, but to have lots of issues there. What I would like a bit of help in is I've only tested it on the M1 Max and the AMD 8 gigabyte MacBook Pro. If anyone has a four gigabyte MacBook Pro, let me know if it runs on there. If anyone has like an M1 Mac or M1 Pro, let me know how it runs on there. I had a couple of people tell me that the M1 runs a bit slow, so I've changed a bit of the limits to see if I can slow it down there and hopefully you guys will let me know if it improves. And uh, regarding next up, probably I'll do a bit more optimization, but I am also considering doing a Windows version. I do have an RTX 3080 in the other room and Considering that we managed to get the mining on the AMD running faster than it did on Windows, I'm thinking maybe some of the basic optimizations I've already put into the algorithm, maybe if I ported that over to Nvidia, we can get some improvements over there. I'll have to wait and see and see what I decide to do. If anyone has any suggestions, of course, contact me. Let me know what you guys think as well. And thanks for all the, the comments I've been getting so far. Thanks for all the contacts and all of you guys' support.
All right, so if you wanna get started, of course, if you just go to X Create Mac Miner, the official link over there, there's a get started guide just on that page and it tells you exactly how to download and run it. You gotta right click it to open, it might report that it's a virus, all that kind of stuff. And to set up your mining servers, for example, if you go to Unminable, and select which coin you want to mine. Just say you want to mine a bit of, um, which one's hot at the moment? Let's say you want to mine Ripple, XRP. This is your server, etash.unminable.com. That's your server. So if you click on the app, click on select wallet and server, you put your server address just after the Stratton bit over here. And you got to get your Ripple address. So you put that in that bit over there. So. It says you start off over here with XRP, your address, dot your worker, and your referral code. So I change this one to XRP. You put in your Ripple address, and then you put your dot your worker name. Some mining pools they require a worker name. So if you are unable to connect, make sure you follow their syntax, their requirements. XRP colon address dot worker. If you miss any of those bits out, you may get rejected by the pool. And you also need a mining wallet. So there's also recommendations of which wallets to get. So you can use a service like a, a cloud wallet, like Kraken, or you can use a, a local wallet, like Atomic Wallet. And there's all these different wallets. And more wallets do, they give you an address. So when you do get transference of the tokens, it goes to that account. So I hope you find version 0.3 better. Let me know how it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the show.